Good morning, everyone. It's a nice early start down here. My name's Phil Gallagher, and today we are lucky enough to meet up with Aquatech ambassador Craig Parry and take a dive at one of his favorite places, just a stone's throw from his home. So our captain has arrived, Craig. Right. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Everyone, this is Craig Parry, hey long time Aquatech ambassador, the Sony shooter. And as I said today, we're gonna go for a swim with Craig. He's gonna be using the new Edge Sony water housing. So Craig, how are the conditions looking? Magic, mate. We Magic. haven't had a day like this in three weeks. Just yeah. dead calm, no okay. swell. It's been a bit of a battle this season with swell, like winds from the north and south, but yep. now it's yeah, it's a perfect day. There's a lot of boats out today, which yep. is, means that there's a lot of pelagic fish out there and yep. in good conditions. So we might get something pretty special I think. Great, and what kind of things might we see out there? Well, I'm going to take you to Julian Rocks first yep. and then um, we might see mantas, it depends on the water temperature and the currents, but um, hopefully manta, there's a lot of eagle rays at the moment, but that's pretty much guaranteed. Yeah. Fingers crossed we might see some of that. So um, it might be all yeah. happening. Yeah, and leopard shark. Be... So, oh wow, yeah, okay. So we'll see what we get. So, <laughs> as you've seen, Craig's promised us a bit of everything today. <laughs> so we'll get ready, we'll get this rig in the water and um, hope you guys enjoyed the ride today. Right, we're about to jump on board. Today I'm going to be using the Canon mirrorless R5 camera inside the new Edge for the R5. What about you, Craig? Mate, I've got the uh, Sony A7R4 and the 12 24 G Master. Uh, it's my go to lens with the Edge housing. You know, I can get my wide splits and then go in for the 24mm for portraits. Perfect. Perfect, mate. All right. Yeah. Let's jump on. Right, so we made it out here to Julian Rocks. How's the conditions looking, Craig? It's it's okay. We've probably got a you know, five to ten metre visibility out here. We had a bit of northerly yesterday, which stirred the ocean up. Um, so we're going to go in the shallows, stay around the ten metre mark, and um, see what we can find. It's it's it, it, the water's nice and warm, so we will see, see some of those bigger animals. Like so, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And out here, Julian Rocks, just tell us a little bit about the setup out here. Is it um, any particular little sections of the reef that you? Yeah, like to? on a good day, like on a on a you know a day where we've got twenty meters visibility, I'll just do a full circle of the island here um, with my flippers on, and and if if it's you know it's quite deep on this on this side, which yep. is the eastern side of it, the western side's a little bit more protected. Where you'll see the turtles and the juvenile animals around the corner. Over this side, you'll see the bigger fish. Um, you know, you'll see your dolphin fish, your mackerel, all that kind all of right. stuff feeding. And so it's a lot deeper here. You know, it starts off at about five meters and goes down to about 15, whereas the other side, three meters down to about 12. Yeah. Right. Cool. So a lot of different options out there. Yeah, it's great. It's this is you know, I I, I dive around Australia a lot and all around the world, and this is you know one of my favorite places because you've got in the winter time you've got the winter species coming, and, and in summertime you've got the summer species, which is a it's a bit of variety for me, and for sure. it's, it's great. It's only it's not far off the coast. I know, oh, yeah, yeah. We can see Byron Lighthouse yeah. in the background behind us, and it's such a beautiful spot here. So, yeah. being able, it's pretty great to be able to do this in your own backyard, oh, isn't it? So <laughs> blessed. <laughs> so, talking about um, options, there. One of the things that really stands out to me with the edge housing for a Sony shooter like yourself is the fact that these housings will cross between multiple different Sony models. For yeah. example, this one here, which is the uh, the Edge Sony Mark II, it's listed as, it'll work with the R4 that you're shooting with yep. today, but then also you can put the new A7S III yep. for any of your video work, Perfect. but then also the A9 Mark II, if you're yeah. a sports shooter or you just need that frame rate and focus. So how does that play out for someone like yourself who shoots a huge range of things? Well, like you said, today I'm shooting the A7R4. I use that camera um, for the high resolution stills for my gallery and my print sales. Uh, then the A7S III, my client, if I'm working for video, then it's great, you know, I can get on set and use that and shoot 4K 120 or 4K 60, whatever you want to do. Yeah. But then 
uh, you know, if I'm on production and, and they want stills of like, you know, for example, I was in Norway uh, last year and shooting surfing and, um, you know, I had the A9 Mark II. So it had that versatility because I need, you know, the A9 Mark II, I need a high frame rate. So, you know, I'm shooting, you know, 20 frames a second and I really need to get that shot of, of sure. the client either the surfing. Yeah. Is critical oh, and it's just that frame yeah. in between the frames kind of thing. Totally. It's like, and it's, it's, it. it's to have, that, to have a, a housing with that caliber which can fit all those cameras in. It's priceless for my job, and yeah. I mean, for a lot of guys out there working with Sony cameras, um, you know, you've got the they've got high resolution camera, and they get your sports camera. It's yeah. nice to have that fit in. So for sure, yeah. And for anyone who's actually using the older Sony cameras as well, so that the Edge Sony Mark II will fit the, uh, those older cameras. So you've got the yeah. A7R3, you've got the A7 III, and you've also got the original A9 will work in that body. So, Craig, you've been lucky enough to be able to use this on a recent trip. We yeah. went away with your family up to the yeah. Great Barrier Reef. Um, tell us a little bit about the changes that you noticed or some of those things that really stood out to you. The best thing about it is the, the, the compact size. You know, I, you know, it's so nice and tight and small now. Everything's nice and compact. So the ergonomics are amazing. Um, also, you know, the, the flexibility of having just the two clips there um, and then the hinge just gives me that extra confidence that I know the thing's locked. So for me... Uh, Shooting mirrorless is something pretty new. Yeah. You know, I've gone from SLR to DSLR and now to mirrorless. And for me, um, you know, that's only a recent change to move to the R5s. But for you, you've been shooting mirrorless for a long time. Yeah. You know, for me, it's still this novelty yeah. of the EVF showing your exposure and, and just some of those tracking features and, and things like that. And I'm really, really struggling right now to go between DSLR and mirrorless in my kit. <laughs> I remember that. It feels very foreign, but you must have, like, you were a very early adopter to mirrorless. Yeah, and it, I mean, it wasn't easy either. You know, um, I, I was coming from a, the bigger cameras and, and from Canon, and, and it, going for a smaller camera was kind of feels strange, but then I got used to it quite quickly. Um, but yeah, the, the whole mirrorless thing, uh, the evolution of mirrorless has been a real game changer for me. Like, I, I've, I've, my images have improved, you know, it's, it's just, I, I, I like, the whole system now it's pretty much limitless what they can do with mirrorless and not having that mirror in front of that uh, yeah. sensors just changed everything today on the r5 i'm going to be using the 24 mil prime uh, for me that's a really uh, personal favorite underwater i like the way that it, it, it's sort of wide but it's also great for a little bit of detailed shots right -o. so you ready yeah let's go for a swim mate <laughs> yeah the dive boat's turned up um so we'll see what we can find underneath water it's good the sun's a little bit higher now and because we're on that so on the east the western side of the rock so we, we're getting a little bit more light which is what we need underwater obviously so okay yeah. great let's go do, let's it. do it waiting through your pond in the yard where you shimmering glow and i wonder if i should go That was awesome, was. I had some really nice time. Saw a couple of great leopard sharks. Had some turtles at one stage, which were pretty awesome. Yep. And just the, like the just the fish life, you know, in so many different little colours and schools of fish. It makes your day feel good, eh? Oh, that was great, man. Start of the day. Yeah, lungs got a bit of a workout, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was awesome, man. Thanks for that. Oh, pleasure, that was mate. Great. All right, we might jump back on board. Yep. And uh, 
We'll move on. All right. All right, Craig, thanks again, mate. That was an awesome morning. Really, Pleasure. really appreciate you taking us out along for the ride. Good. I love sharing it. It's That's beautiful. Yeah. So I think just finally, of someone who's used the housings so much over so many years, yep. many generations of housings as well, um, have you got any advice for people who have got questions or anything like that, who may be either considering investing in the edge or maybe even upgrading from things like the elite housing mm -hmm. um, for those Sony cameras that yeah. you use? Yeah, I mean, the, cam the, the housing itself is formed for the for the upper range, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's the, the camera's snug inside, so there's not much room around. So you, you're not gonna get any light leaks coming through the back of the camera like yep. you used to. Um, everything's just tight, small, ergonomical. Like I can, every button's just accessible for me. So yep. um, yeah, I, I think it's mainly the size and the form factor of the, of the housing that I really like. I guess also you've got that advantage of being able to bring across those accessories like lens ports and pistol grips and all those kind of things into this new housing as well for those people who might be moving from the Elite A7 original Sony series sure. as well. So it's just the housing, if you've got all that then just bang the housing and you've got it and you've got the whole setup. So it's much, much easier. Cool. Alright Craig, well thanks again mate. Pleasure. Really appreciate yeah, it. Enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along today out on the uh, high seas with Craig. And if you've got any questions about any of the Edge technology that's out there or Sony related camera questions, anything like that, be sure to reach out to the Aquatech trained staff via the website. There's plenty of help there.